Multiplication. Multiplication is very similar like addition and subtraction. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to start all the way to the right hand side. All right. Um, now, in this case, instead of adding and subtracting, we're going to be multiplying. So you're going to start with your digit here, and you're going to multiply this term times every other term um, up above. So I do 3 times 7, which is 21. Well, just like when we were doing adding, I'm going to put a 1 here, and then I'm going to bring the 2 there. All right. Then I do 3 times 8, which is 24. But now I need to add my carryover, which would be 2. So that's going to be 26. And then I bring the 2 over here. 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2 is 11. All right. Then I have to now work for the second digit, which would be 0. And I like to put a square sometimes around that 0, just to remind myself that it's a placeholder. You don't have to put the square around there. You can easily just put a 0. I just put that 0 there just to remind myself that it's a placeholder. Because now that I've done 3, I've multiplied 3 times every digit, right? Now I'm going to do the same with 4. But what's nice about using a pencil is all these carryovers that you did, you can just erase them and now do the 4. Because if you don't erase them, you're going to mix them in. right? Once you do 4s, you're going to forget which carryover came from. So now I do 4. 4 times 7 is 28. I write the 8 here and then 2 up here. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34. So the 4 up here, and then I do the 3 here. 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 3 is 15. All right, there's no place for me to carry over the 1, so I can write it down below. Now I move to my third digit. So since I had um, uh, one, uh, one space holder for the second digit, I'm going to need two space holders for the second digit. And you just continue that process for however many digits you have. Now I do the 1. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 3 is 3. Now that we've multiplied every single number by the other numbers, now we can simply just add. And when you add, you add vertically. 1, 6 plus 8 is going to be 14. Bring carry over my 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 4 is 6. Plus 7 is 13. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 5 is 7. Plus 8 is going to be 15. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. Then to write in my comma, you start all the way to the right and go by threes. So it's 55,341. Questions on this one? No? Okay.